what up shit Timmers here. With Deadpool Wolverine coming out this week, I'm of course doing my reviews for the X-Men films. So here's my review for 2006's X-Men The Last Stand. Now this one was definitely a big step down from the previous X-Men films. For one, this was directed by Brett Ratner, who also gave us movies like the Rush Hour films, uh, what else did he put out? Um, he did that Hercules movie, uh, Tower Heist. I mean, it's, and also, he also had some problematic, um, stuff. Sure. It's a shame that the first three X-Men movies ended up being directed by someone who ends up having accusations against them. That's, that's unfortunate. But unlike the first two X-Men films, this one wasn't so good. You know, this came out all the way back in 2006 and really took a dive. You know, this time around, uh, you know, with the plot revolves around um, a mutant core that causes a uh, serious uh, repercussions among uh, mutants and humans, and on the uh, resurrection of Jean Grey, who unleashes a dark force. This was pretty much um, loosely based on X Men comic book story arcs, Gifted, and the Dark Phoenix saga, which they really always buck the Dark Phoenix saga. First, this, then Dark Phoenix. By the way, I already did my review for the Dark Phoenix back in 2019, so. You're not, you're not gonna see my review for that this week, because uh, I'm not gonna talk about it a second time. But uh, still, um, yeah, less than really bought that storyline badly. Uh, of course, you do have like Hugh Jackman coming back as uh, Wolverine, Halle Berry back as Storm, Ian McKellen back as Magneto, Patrick Stewart back as Charles Xavier, uh, Fawn McJensen back as Phoenix. Uh, this time around, you have uh, Kelsey Grammer making his debut as Beast. Uh, Rebecca Romain um, as uh, Mystique. Uh, Vinny Jones playing the Juggernaut. Uh, Elliot Page, who of course at the time was uh, Ellen Page, playing the role of Kitty Pride. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, this really wasn't all that good. Uh, you know, they had some odd scenes like the opening flashback scenes, Jean Grey's resurrection, but yeah, it just really falls short of like a high bar set by its predecessor. Uh, pretty much shows its two main plot ho uh, plot lines. Uh, the action sequences are cool, but it really lacked like emotional depth, uh, con harness and stuff like that. It's just yeah, of course, this would actually be pretty much like the uh, last X Men movie we end up getting until, like, uh, I guess, say, Orson Wolverine, which that I'll talk about in a separate video. But, uh, yeah, Last Stand really, really, um, they really balk at Valley. And, it, yeah, like, this is not as, like, the worst comic book film of all time. Like, it's nowhere near as bad as, let's say, Batman Robin, Superman uh, 4, and everything like that. But it's definitely not a good one. So, yeah. Anyway, let me let you guys, have you ever seen X-Men The Last Stand? If so, what's up? Were you a fan of it? Were you not a fan of it? Favorite scenes? Favorite moments? Uh, drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. This is Simmons.